jump steady circuit. We're not live, are we? Are we live? Oh, okay. So, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wednesday Night Fights. My name is Edmund. This is my co-caster, Bash. Bash. Uh, we're gonna be getting right into this set before us between uh, Sheep and Zack in a Box. Ness versus Krom. Traditionally, Ness does not like the sword fighters, but it doesn't look like Sheep has too much fear as he's going right into it, opening up with a little bit of damage. Yeah, and uh, Krom's kind of dropping the, the fair chain there. Couldn't uh, quite connect uh, with more than one there. All right. Okay, they're kind of just swinging around in neutral. We got him with the PK fire. He's going to get a grab off of it. Uh, actually able to escape air dodging through the up air. The up air would have led to so much more damage for Sheep. Just continue like a chain of up airs. It's going to be really hard to escape, especially at lower percentages. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the Krom just kind of has to get on top of him and stay on top of him. And if he gets hit by one of those PK fires, he's going to be taking at least 30%, probably more. Yeah, and already uh, Sheep at 132, he's going to get forward smash. I was saying, I mean, like at 70%, he was already in danger of dying to a plethora of uh, Zack in the Box's options here, which I, I should say Krom's options. 110%, that there's that down smash connecting, gonna even things right up down to two stocks of peace between here, these two players. Yeah, I mean, we're basically just back to even. That's a little bit of an opening, can't connect it into too much more than that. And uh, he was uh, getting played, and we're back right back to the goal. Yeah, I actually don't remember if uh, if Krom's is called also called Dancing Blade, or if it takes the same name as uh, Roy's uh, double edge dance, I'm not sure. I, I would assume it's double edge dance yeah. just because they're they're uh, echo fighters. But yeah, relatively even game again. Sheep at 94%. He's gonna be want to be really careful about throwing those PK fires at point blank range. He's really lucky he didn't need a heavier punish uh, from his prom. Yeah, I mean neither of them is playing all that defensive. They're all just kind of they're both just kind of coming out swinging. At each other. Definitely. I mean, even the Ness is just kind of showing no fear. You know, normally when you're playing this matchup as an S, you're a little bit more scared, but he's just he's free to throw out those uh, PK fires. Oh, even. oh no, oh, and the no. directional air dodge in the bottom of the blast zone. That's going to cost him. He's down to his last stock here. Zack in the box looking very good to take this game one right now, especially he's sitting at 89%. And the fact that he can just kind of sit back and has the sword advantage over Ness, he, he has like... More, more range, more kill power. He doesn't really have to commit to anything, but it's not looking like that's the case. He's still gonna continue with this aggressive nature. Yeah, I mean, he's not even really trying to get on top of him exactly, but he's just kind of staying with his threat range. Where he's just like at this mid range where it's not really close enough for Ness to really get him, and if Ness whiffs anything or throws anything out just, you know, stupidly, he's gonna come in and just either get a smash or get like a forward air on him and get combos out of it. So he's just, yeah, like right there. He gets the bait, he dashes back, dashes back in. Yeah. Yeah. Converts it into a finish with the stock. Yeah, absolutely. Baiting him in with that forward air and just easy punish with the forward smash. Gonna take that first game, going to Zach in the box. And yeah, I mean, it, it, it really is a tough matchup and you gotta give it to Sheep for keeping it close despite the self-destruct. Uh, I wasn't planning on it, but well, I guess. I'm just wondering if that's like... No, yeah, yeah, someone else could play. Because I probably, I want to go on it. Yeah, yeah, Awesome, yeah, so for game two, uh, looks like we're going to Battlefield. They're set onto the Battlefield setting there. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, all right, Battlefield Hyrule Castle. Uh, I don't know how you feel about it, but I actually prefer for... <laughs> You know, the uh, Battlefield and FD, I'd rather go to one of the like alternate forms of the stages, especially Oh, FD, totally. Just, yeah, I'm actually really, really happy to see that they are going to a Battlefield version of a different stage because we get so much different scenery and so much different music, and that's what we've been asking for, and yet people still, it's like they forget. They still default to like regular Battlefield, regular FD. But here we are, Battlefield, Sheep and Zack in the Box, game number two. Uh, Zack in the Box up one. Yeah, I mean, Zack in the Box still is going in for these like dash-ins, kind of baits the PK fire, dashes back, and tries to come right back in to punish. 
and uh, it just oh. keeps you. Oh. God, you cannot miss those techs, especially not against Krom. That forward smash gonna claim another life from Sheep, who, and Zack and the Puck sitting pretty at 38%. That's This is like the worst case scenario for Sheep right now. And he's still coming in with all this aggression. He's finding a little bit of success, but mostly he's whiffing attacks, and that's what's really costing him. Yeah, and I mean, the biggest thing I'd like to see him try to do is get Zack and the Puck off stage a little bit more. Take advantage of that bad drama recovery. Yeah, absolutely. And just, you know, try and just force him into a disadvantage stage to keep him there. Totally, and he uh, Ness has the tools to do so. Uh, he has throws that can very easily put Zack in the box off stage. The back throw will do it. It might even take the stock, not quite enough. He can harass with the PK Thunder as he's doing right now. Um, and also, that down smash, it just hangs off the ledge. It doesn't even have to two-frame. It just intercepts their opponent before they come up. And with Krom's linear recovery, that's going to be the name of the game. But there it goes. Sheep losing another stock. Zack in the Box sitting at three stocks right now, 144%, and has tons of momentum. He's carrying him with all these forward airs. Quick 37% yeah. comes down off the, uh, when he comes down off the platform and he's punished. All right, there's that forward tilt from Zack in the Box. Dancing around, catching the landing with the back air really low to the ground. Manages to air dodge himself back on stage. He does keep himself from getting uh, F smash there, which probably would have been the end, but I think this might be it right here. Ooh. He can convert it. Yeah, jab to back air. That's going to be really nice. It's, oh, there it is. Same as game one. Punishing the forward air, completely whiffing, and getting the forward smash for the 2 0. Really nice stuff coming out from Zach in the box. Uh, a little bit less than great showing from Sheep on that game number two. He got three 